I went to the dollar store again this week because I wanted to try some more of their delicious snacks. Last time, uh, it went great. We found one snack that was actually palatable and the rest were terrible. So I thought, hey, why not do it again? So I went to the same. I went again to Dollarama, but this time I got a reusable bag. And I decided to try uh, six different snacks this time. There was a wide selection of food available, but I did decide to skip the dollar store dented can escargot. Uh, but you know what? If I get to a thousand subscribers, I will go back to Dollarama, buy some escargot, and taste it. So be sure to get subscribed if you want to see me try Dollar Store canned snails. So first up, let's have a little bit of an appetizer to wet the palate. And I thought I'd start with this Paris pâté um, deviled ham. But I think you're supposed to spread this on something, so I also thought I'd give a try this de gourmet olive oil and oregano uh, crackers. So I'm going to open the crackers first. Oh, they're, they're like, they're individually wrapped. They come in a little package here. They, they definitely have an oregano smell to them. They, they're extremely dry and brittle looking too, like if I'll just like. And next up is the um, deviled ham with natural smoke flavor. It looks like cat food. It smells a bit like cat food. All right, let's, let's have a look. If you look at it, it's like a ham spread. Put it on the cracker here. It's extremely salty. It really does smell, it smells like, like canned cat food. Ugh. It's not good. It does smell a lot like when you walk into a Subway restaurant. You can really see the, the texture of it. I've tasted it before from the supermarket, but I don't think it's supposed to taste this salty or this much like, like cat food. I am gonna try one of the crackers on their own to see how that tastes. It tastes like stale pizza crust. Like if you left your pizza out overnight and you just took a bite out of the crust, that's kind of what it would taste like. And it, it, it's kind of leaving a residue, like a, like a residue on my tongue. I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need something to wash that down with. Luckily, I've got this Vera that I also got. It's a pomegranate aloe drink. Um, and it says it's a product of uh, Korea. It's not specific about which Korea it's a product from. I'm assuming South Korea, um, I would hope at least. If you look, you can see there's like pulp in there. Anything to wash the taste of that cracker and deviled ham out of my mouth. I don't like the, I don't like the pulp in it. It's like sticking to my teeth. And, and you see like in orange juice, the pulp sinks to the bottom. If you look, you can see it's quite stationary. It's the pulp's not going anywhere. It's suspended in the liquid. Mm. Oh, I don't like the, I don't like the texture of the pulp. It's almost like drinking a Slurpee, but if the ice was warm, you feel it. It's got a texture. This isn't, I wouldn't call this liquid. I mean, there's liquid in it, but I wouldn't, this wouldn't quench my thirst because there's like bits of stuff in it. It's really sugary. Well, now we've, we've cleansed our palate. You know, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cleanse with some water. So next is main course, and what's main course without a little meat? And they had uh, Slim Jims on. The Slim Jim is described as a spicy sausage snack, which was incidentally my nickname in high school. R.I.P. Macho Man. Oh yeah. Let's give it a try. It smells like, uh, like a very vinegary scent to it. Is it expired? Let me give it a try. Mm. Oh. You really taste the vinegar. Oh. No, that's not spicy. That's not spice. It tastes vinegary. People actually eat these? I've never had this before. This is horrible. It tastes like chewing on a sponge that's been soaked in vinegar. The skin is, is hard to chew. So you end up with like masticated sausage meat and a skin left over in your mouth. That is not pleasant. I don't like that one bit. There's a piece of skin stuck in my mouth. Better wash that out. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna wash that out with some actual water. All right, so we've had appetizer, we've had a main course, which was terrible, and now I guess it's time for dessert. So I have two options for dessert. The first one is uh, this, this, it's like a chocolate wafer, um, rice crispy kind of thing, and uh, choc choco chips. It's called biscolata. What I'm expecting out of this is it to be similar to the last time I tried dollar store chocolate. Um, really waxy, really uh, li like leaving a film on, on, my, on my mouth. 
They're small little, they're like, they're like chocolate Pringles. Yeah, it's definitely got that dollar store chocolate taste to it. They're like, the little Rice Krispies in it, you don't really taste the crispiness. Now there's a, an aftertaste. A bit like, uh, like coffee grounds maybe. I don't know about that aftertaste. That's kind of not, oh, no, I don't like that. It definitely tastes, <clears throat> it, de <clears throat> it definitely, it definitely tastes like eating a chocolate Easter bunny that kind of fell behind the couch and you found it in like June. And it's got that, that flavor of when chocolate is melted and then re-solidified. Not, not a fan, not a fan of that one. I'm gonna get that taste out of my mouth. Oh, okay, lastly, there's a little um, a cake. Pennatone, I think that's how you pronounce it. Product of Italy. Oh, it's like a little, it's literally just like a little, a little cake. Oh, it, yep, it's definitely raisins. It does not smell good. It just smells like, like raisins. Like, it's like, it's like wrapped in what I presume is some sort of wax paper. Like, it's leaving an oil on my fingers, but it's covered, it is covered in raisins. So, I don't mind raisins. I'm one of those people I don't mind raisins. Some people, like, can't stand raisins, so. It's hard to rip, like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to open it. Ugh. Pastry is hard. Like it's, it's, it's not soft. Okay, I got a piece with some raisins on it. Remember when um, you were a kid and sometimes you'd get those little boxes of sun-made raisins? This kind of tastes like if you ate the box. I think I would rather eat this than the Slim Jim. It's taking a long time to chew. There's an extremely bitter aftertaste uh, the raisins are super dry and hard, and the the cake on the inside, like this is the, the inside part here, uh, feels like stale bread. And since 1946, <laughs> and it, I don't know, I feel like what kind of ingredients could you scrape together in Italy in 1946? Maybe that's where the recipe came from and they just haven't changed it since. They put in some flour and some drywall and made a raisin flavored cake out of it, I don't know. I'm gonna just wash that out one more time. Oh, oh. the more I drink this, the more I think the pulp, there's pulp in it. Like the, it's, the, it settles in the middle. So I'm getting down to the middle now. <coughs> the pulp is kind of settled towards the middle of the, of the drink and it, I'm just gonna, I gotta do water, I'm sorry. Well, let's do uh, the top five. The worst is hands down the Slim Jim. This thing is gross. Yeah, the next worst one is this, this cake, this disgusting uh, raisin cake. Um, the third worst, I'm gonna say, are the, the crackers. Number two, I'm gonna give number two, surprisingly, to the deviled ham. Like, I thought the deviled ham would be bad, but it's actually not that, it's actually not terrible. The texture is a bit weird. As I said, it's, it's, it's like, like ham-flavored peanut butter. And number one, hands down. Number one, hands down. Biscalata. I mean, if relatively speaking, this is the, easily the best snack that I've ever had from a dollar store. Uh, compared to like regular food, um, it's still not great, but it's the best of a bad lot, so. Well, thanks for checking out the video today. Don't forget to get subscribed if you wanna see me eat dollar store canned escargot. Check out some of my other content here, including the first dollar store food taste test, and I'll see you next time.